We begin with earthquakes. We've all heard about it throughout the year. More than 80 or around 80, I should say, in the Elgin area. USC researchers could be a step closer to understanding where those are coming from. Well, the USGS has reported around 80 small earthquakes since last December, and the state emergency management says that it's the longest earthquake swarm in our state's history. Now, the strongest quake was recorded this year. Recorded this year was back in June. That was when a 3.6 magnitude earthquake shook the Elgin area. And since then, the State Department of Natural Resources, along with USC researchers, have been working to find out the cause. Well, our Zoe Henry has more from researchers about how installing more than 80 new earthquake meters could help find the source of the swarm. Ever since the earthquake started back in December, scientists at USC have been working to better understand what's happening with devices called seismometers. This month, the university installed 86 new devices to get better results. So working with Georgia Tech University, we installed 86 nodal seismometers. So a nodal seismometer is a mini seismometer. It's like about the size of a volleyball. Because of the size of the devices, the university was able to install more near the epicenter of the earthquake swarm. We've had earthquakes going on in Elgin for, since the start of the year, and no one's really got a good answer as to what's going on with them. These new devices are a hope for more accurate results as to what's causing these small earthquakes. Hoping that now we have these seismometers right on top of where the swarm is happening, we'll be able to better spatially locate where these earthquakes are. Another bonus, the devices didn't cost much to install nor purchase. We, we can have, have lots of them. They're so, so cheap we can afford 86. Frost added, it's important to note the earthquakes in South Carolina are mostly harmless in Columbia. Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. A lot of folks will be looking for the answers from that research. They say they'll have more data in January from those new monitors. Now, there's typically about 10 to 20 earthquakes in our state each year. And as we mentioned, there have been more than 80 in Elgin, or around 80, I should say. The USGS says that the last one was a 1.3 magnitude on October 14th. Earlier this month, the state emergency management launched a new earthquake preparedness resource to help prepare for when those shakes strike. Now there is information about fault lines in our state, a guide for pet owners, information about aftershocks and a look at myths and facts about earthquakes. You can find that on the agency's earthquake guide online with a full list of ways to prepare your home for an earthquake.